In this video solution, we're going to explain how to create a custom device tag. The way we're going to do that is we're going to first explain what information is actually referenced in a tag, and that is property set information that's attached to an object. We're then going to show how to define the tag properly in the correct drawing, and then we're going to go ahead and create a tool on a tool palette that uses this tag to use in a drawing. We're now going to go ahead and switch over to the program. As you can see here, we have a piece of duct in our drawing that has been tagged with one of the standard tags. It's called the duct data tag. And this tag is referencing information that's attached to this tag. And that information is information on a property set, which can be accessed through the extended data tab of our properties palette. You'll see right here that there's a number of properties and information that's included. Um, in this case, we're referencing the duct size, the flow rate, velocity, and friction loss. In this case, these have not been calculated, which is why they're zero. And we can easily go ahead and see that by exploding our tag a number of times to get it down to its basic line work. And you can see that what we have here is an attribute that is defined first with the proper name for the property set definition followed by the property name itself. So we go and look and sure enough there is duct object. You can see that it's not case sensitive and that there is a property called duct size. So we need to make sure that we have exactly correct the property set definition name and the property name. So now that we know where this information is coming from, we can go ahead and create our own custom tag. Now one thing that is common to most of these tags is that they're all located in the same drawing. So if we go ahead and look at the properties for this tool, you'll see that it's located in this one file called mechanical tags. So we're going to create our tag in the same drawing so that there's a central file that handles all of these tags. So let's go ahead and open up this file see that I'm already navigated there, but it is down here, all the way down in Imperial. We're going to go into our mechanical tags drawing. You can see here that I've already created the tag itself. It is just basic line work. I've got text here because this won't change. This is constant text. And then here again I have attributes with the property set definition name and then property that I'm going to be using in my tag. But before we can go ahead and create our tag, we need to make sure that the property set definition duct object is contained within this drawing. So we're going to be able to access that through our style manager. So we go ahead and we can open our style manager and we look to see and duct object is not located in here, but we do still have our tag example drawing open which has the correct property set definition. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this property set into our mechanical tags drawing. So now we have the correct property set. So now that we've made sure that the property set definition is located in the drawing, we can go ahead and define our schedule tag. We're going to do that using the define schedule tag tool. It's going to prompt us to select all the objects we're going to use in our tag and we will select everything. You're going to see that it's detected that there are three properties in this tag. Now if it doesn't detect them as properties that means that either the text is entered wrong or the property sets do not reside in this drawing. So I'm going to call this duct information tag. I'm going to set my insertion point. I'm just going to choose to pick right there. And you'll see that we've gone ahead and created our tag. So I select it. It's going to show up as a multi-view block reference. You can see that it's called duct information tag. So to create a tool, we simply just have to drag our tag onto our tool palettes. And we are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and save my drawing. Now we can go ahead and switch back to our tag example. And all we need to do to tag this piece of duct is to go ahead and just use our new tool. It's going to tag duct with the correct information. And you'll see that our information is showed correctly. So we've shown that tags reference property set information 
that it's best to define the tag in a common drawing to other tags that you want to use attributes to call out the property set information. Once you've done that, we can create the tag, drag it onto the tool palette, and go ahead and use them in other drawings. Thank you for watching this video solution and using Autodesk products.